Hi there and welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. It's Mr Hegarty here and in this video uh, we're going to talk about reflections again so it's our second and final video on reflections. So, um, again just to recap what, what we're doing, we're in the topic of transformations, there are rotations, translations, reflections and enlargements and we're talking about reflections and what are reflections? Well reflections are where you flip a shape and you need a mirror line, so in a mirror line. Okay, so that's uh, what these are about. And sometimes you will a reflection will have occurred, and you have to describe it in the exam. And you have to use the word reflection for one mark, and you have to say the line of reflection as well. You have to state the line of reflection in order to get the second mark. Okay. Okay, so all we're going to do is three quick examples. Describe the transformation of shape C to shape D. Now you'll notice here, hopefully, that um, if you draw the if the mirror line is drawn exactly here, um, this shape here you'll find is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven from this line and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. D is also seven away. So it's a reflection in this line here, and that obviously is the y-axis. So you would simply state reflection for one mark and in the y-axis for the second mark. You could alternatively state you'd get the exact same marks if you stated reflection, okay, and you would say in the line x is 0, okay, because on this line, the y-axis, another word for the y-axis is the line x is 0, because all the coordinates on here uh, have the x-coordinate um, 0, so that's an alternative way of doing it. So it's as simple as that, you've got your two marks for saying the word reflection, and in what line. Right, what about this? Well, hopefully you'll see that um, c is 1, 2, 3 away, we have to describe the transformation of C to D is 3 away from the x-axis and similarly D is 3 away from the x-axis. So again it's a reflection for the first mark and you can state in the x-axis. Alternatively you could have said it was a reflection and in the line y is 0 because any point on this line here has the y-coordinate uh, zero. Okay, so either of those two would have done. Right, next one, example three, describe the transformation of shape C to D. Again, you're thinking it's a reflection because the shape is, uh, is the same size and it just looks like it's being flipped over. So let's count how far away these two edges are. They're 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. They're 10 away from each other. So halfway in the middle would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 would be here. So I'm thinking now the line of reflection must be um, along here. Okay, so we would state that we have a reflection. for one mark in the line, and this is the line x is negative 2, x equals negative 2, because any coordinate on here is negative 2. Any x coordinate along here, sorry, is negative 2. So it's a reflection for one mark, and in the line x is negative 2 for the second mark. Okay, last example for you to try. Example 4. Um, describe the transformation of C to D. Now it looks like it could be some form of rotation, and potentially it is. It looks also like it could be a reflection in one of our lines that we need to know, perhaps in the line Y is equal to X. So I'm drawing the line Y is equal to X here, where the X and Y coordinates are the same. For example, this point here is 2, 2, and this point here is 4, 4. And could it be a reflection in this line? Well, yes, it very much looks like a reflection because this is one up from here, this is one here, this is one, two, three, four, up and one, two, three, four here. So it is a reflection in the line y is x. So get your first mark for stating it's a reflection 
and get your second mark for stating in the line y is equal to x. Okay, and that's it for this video. That's how you describe uh, reflections um, and to get marks in the exam. Thanks for those for watching.